Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how waste produced by humans can reduce biodiversity. In the last video we looked at biodiversity. Remember that biodiversity is the variety of all of the different species of organisms on Earth or in an ecosystem. It's really important that we maintain a rich biodiversity on Earth as this makes ecosystems more stable. Now over the last hundred years the population of humans has increased massively and the average standard of living has also increased. Because of this, humans are using more of the Earth's resources than ever before. They're also producing more waste, and that's leading to pollution. So in this video, we're going to look at how waste can lead to the pollution of water, the air, and land. We're going to start by looking at water pollution. Now humans produce a large amount of sewage, and this contains both urine and feces. In some countries, this is simply released into nearby waterways. In the UK, sewage is treated before being released. However, in some cases, untreated sewage is accidentally released into rivers or streams. Rivers and streams can also be polluted with fertilizers from farms. Both fertilizers and untreated sewage cause dissolved oxygen levels to fall, and this can kill aquatic organisms. Sometimes toxic chemicals are released into rivers from factories, and again, these can kill animals in the river. So as you can see, waste from human activity is reducing biodiversity in aquatic ecosystems. Waste from human activities is also polluting the air. For example, burning coal in power stations can release acidic gases, and these can cause acid rain. Burning can also release smoke. Air pollution like this can kill plants and animals, and this reduces biodiversity. Waste can also pollute the land. For example, millions of tons of waste are dumped in landfills. Landfills destroy habitats of plants and animals. Toxic chemicals can also leach out of landfills and pollute the soil. And in some cases, toxic chemicals are simply dumped directly onto the land. And again, these chemicals can kill living organisms. So as you can see, in all of these cases, the waste from human activities is reducing biodiversity. This makes it extremely important that we carefully handle our waste materials and dispose of them without harming the environment. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on how waste produced by human activities reduces biodiversity in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.